Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NDTV Nirmal Lifestyle Spirit of Sport Awards Ceremony. Thank you so much for being with us. We'd like to grab your attention with a very special performance to kickstart this evening. But I might go to Bombay and then we'll see what happens there. Absolutely, we look forward, sir. We have another award. You yes, forgot? Yes, I do. You got so that. scared? <laughs> well, uh, we have another Lifetime Achievement Award to present in against the odds category. Really, and this man has truly fought against the odds. He lost his eyesight as a two-month-old baby, but he's had a vision to make India a better place for those with disability. And while we invite him on, please have a look at the life of Mr. Mahantesh and what he has done. He loves his cricket, the game of 64 squares, and he works hard at his NGO. It's only when you look closely that you see things differently. Sometimes he needs a helping hand during the chess and a few tools to use the computer. H A N A M period O R G enter. That NGO is run by Mahantesh to help people with disabilities. His own first love is cricket and chess, which he played at the national level. His NGO organized the funds for the Indian blind cricket team to travel to Pakistan and England. And their next aim is to organize a T20 World Cup for the blind in 2012. Well, not only, not only does he run a very successful NGO providing jobs and employment for people with disability, he's now managing the entire CABI or Cricket Association for the Blind in India and looking to raise funds, like we just said, for a T20 Cricket World Cup in India this year. So all our potential sponsors out there, this is the gentleman you need to contact if you need to support that. Sure. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I profusely thank NDTV and Nirmal uh, Styles. Words are definitely not coming from my heart. It's really, really lifetime experience for me. I want my visually challenged, physically challenged, to dream to reach the levels of great sporting people like Leander Faze, Milka Singh Ji, and several cricketers and other sports people. So, in 2012 or 2016, at least one visually impaired should bring gold medal to India. I'm personally honored. I feel it's a big initiative. Marks for sports should immediately start. Thank you very much for giving me this great chance. I'm very happy. Thank you so much. I Thank wish the initiative a huge success. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. But we do have another Lifetime Achievement Award to give out in the Against the Odds uh, category. And this one goes to Shiraz Siddiqui, who uh, runs a fitness concern called Virtuous Wellness. And uh, if, while he comes on on stage, I'd just like to say that he's somebody who's battled cancer not once, but twice. And his company pays special attention to the needs of those people recovering from cancer in terms of diets and fitness and nutrition. I don't know if you have a, just, just to get a mic for you, sir. Just a, a very quick question from you, Shiraz. You yes, know, we've, we've been hearing now in the media reports about Yuvraj Singh suffering from a, a malignant tumor, perhaps, and requiring chemotherapy. As somebody who's battled the disease yourself, what would you like to say to him? Uh, I guess uh, uh, the way I spell cancer is C-A-N. S-I-R. This is the word that I majorly use in the gym to motivate everyone. I always say that I'm new cancer. So I guess it's just the attitude. What is bad? Nothing is bad about the cancer. The cancer itself, the word is motivating. I guess. Thank That's you, all sir. I could say. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. <laughs>